G'day all, welcome to Cobra Leader's Workbench. Today we'll be reviewing the inbox review of Way's latest Genesis Climber Mospadia Legios kit. Now this kit was released uh, back in February and from looking at uh, Hobby Link Japan's website they have two more other kits from the same series being released later this year. This kit is a 170 second scale kit. Uh, what you get in the box is three bags of sprue, an instruction sheet and some decals. First off the decals. Uh, the decals are well presented, well laid out. There's about 56 decals present, of which um, maybe half are being used at any one time on the model. The decals themselves are well within register, crisp and clear, uh, and they do appear to be thin, so they should um, apply quite well with setting solutions. Uh, the text that's on the decals, for example the danger arrows and boxes, they are very readable. The instruction sheet that you get with it is basically a little booklet. It's got a color uh, cover and read page. The front's just showing you the artwork and a bit of information in Japanese. The back is your color codes and decal placements. Inside the book you have a go to the last page 24 steps spread across several pages. Now you have about seven pages you're going through here for the 24 steps. Each step is clear, deals with one component and it's not too busy, not too uh, compressed with information. Um, as you can see it's quite well laid out very pleasant to go through and follow the sprues themselves I'll start with the, this one bag you have one bag of what I'm calling teal or the blue green colour of parts So in one bag we've got um, three sets of sprue and one set of poly caps. These are nice and flexible. Uh, the poly caps, um, there is a slight bit of misalignment by the looks of it, or it's flash on a few of the parts. But I'd say that's a bit of flash, but that can be cleaned up quite easily. Uh, some of the other parts, you can barely notice any seam lines from the moulding process. So that's uh, quite a good set there. On the main parts themselves, the detail is nice and sharp. Uh, I'd be throwing in a ca uh, word of caution here. Some of the engraved detail may disappear if you're a bit heavy handed with applying your primer coats or your paint. Other parts, there is no, no, there is no pin marks on any other parts there on the major surface except for inside surfaces that you're not going to see anyhow. Uh, another set. You have two types of hands here. Uh, one with a closed fist holding a weapon most likely. And a poseable hand as well. So you've got loose fingers here so you can uh, have your hand open or if you want to start cutting away and pose your, your hand differently. And I've just found a third hand. Well, a third set of hands. There's these hands here 
for actually holding the weapon itself by the looks of it. So those previous ones uh, are closed fisted so that you can have a fist scene. And there's three parts to that hand as well. There's the middle, the fingers and the back. Uh, not much in the way of pin marks I don't see on any of these parts. There is a faint impression on the hand grip of the uh, weapon that there's a, a pin mark, but I think that's from the moulding on the other side, so that's coming through a bit on the um, detail side. Next is, we have a bag of blue and white. So there's about six sprues here, uh, all moulded in uh, respective colours of blue and white. And there is some surface marking on some of these parts here. There is some mar marking of some sort. I can't pick it up. It may be just the imperfection due to the colour change in the moulding process. Uh, there does appear to be some pin marks on other parts. There is a appears to be some dimples in the surface. Ever so slight, and it's the other side of these curves here that you actually can see on the outside. But it's still quite well moulded. There is still no sign of flash I can see on these main parts. And once again, the detail. Oh, there is a bit of depth to some of this detail now I'm seeing. So on some some parts, like on the side here, the detail does appear fine, and other parts it appears to be rather heavy. So I don't know whether that's a problem or is just uh, making the mountain out of a molehill. Okay, the blue parts. Is quite well moulded. Once again, no sign of flash and really no pin marks to speak of there either. Uh, here's the head. Now on these parts here, I have no idea what this part here is for, but there is some dimpling inside this detail in, the, in here as well so it's going to cause a bit of a problem if you want to try and fix it up uh, some more dimpling in other areas some scratching around some detail i think that might be due to the molding process more than anything and the last bag So there's three sprues in this bag, so that gives about 13 sprues plus one sprue of polycaps. So about 14 um, sprues in the entire set. Uh, once again, no sign of any flash. Not much in the way of pin marking on the surface detail either. So that's quite well moulded. And... Once again, same comments as before. Okay, so that's basically the Ligios kit. Uh, I'll be doing a build review of this very shortly, so stay tuned. Thanks for listening, I'll catch you later.